Zach, I'll hate you forever. Cody. You think he's serious? P.S. I'm serious. Dear Gertie, who's a good sea monster? You are. Yes, you are. I've lost my mind. Scientifically speaking, I concur. Bailey, you were right. I was stupid to think that Gertie ever existed. Look, I know how disappointed you must be. No, you don't. Hey, my great-uncle Clem tried to track down Bigfoot for 20 years. He had cast the giant footprints, samples of hair. Then one day, just when he was about to give up, he found his answer. He found Bigfoot? Nope. Turns out there's this really hairy woman in the next town over with size 28 feet who likes to hike. <laughs> That's a lovely story. <laughs> but shockingly, it doesn't make me feel any better. The point is, while I realize a good scientist must have a logical mind, he must also have a touch of the poet. What do you say we slap something together about penguins and try and salvage our eight? I already wrote it up, and I could put your name on it. Well, if, if you did that, I would be taking credit, and I wouldn't have done any of the work. I hope you're not too disappointed about Gertie. Well, if I had to have my Nobel Prize dream shattered, I'm glad it was with you. Thank you. Besides, I guess some legends are just legends. on you, would you? Don't pull on it. It only makes it angry. Don't worry. I know exactly what to do. I'll go sleep in Zach's room. Okay. This is awful. Don't worry. We'll find a way to get out of this. No, I meant to have an itch on my nose. Thank you, Vine Monster. 